So listen to this nugget of information that you might find interesting. Draymond Green, if he leaves the Warriors, it will be over money and not over the incident that occurred. So Draymond Green has a 26 27.6 million dollar player option this coming this following season not this coming season after this season he will have an option and unless he opts out any extension this year must come before the season and if he opts out he can extend as late as june 30th but can't earn less than 27.6 million dollars in the first year of his contract now if that's the case draymond green is better finishing his deal through 2023 and 2024 while exploring his options as an unrestricted free agent quote if they lose draymond it it will be because of the money more than the punch maybe like and this end quote this is coming from an agent and this agent also said maybe i'm underselling the incident but if they don't want to pay him i think that was the case before the punch too and another information that came out was jordan Poole is a priority over draymond green according to eric penis of Pen pencus not penis i literally said penis eric pencus <laughs> what if this guy's name really was eric penis of bleacher report hello eric penis how do you do you a dick sir that's just not funny but eric pencus so i think the interesting part is what they just said is this agent said i don't think It'd be easy to trade him right now, given the incident. They're going to try to keep both players. Pool's obviously the priority. Draymond and even Clay were side eyeing Pool, but that's not surprising since he passed them both in terms of value on the team. Rival league executives and agents are skeptical of this incident, however ugly it looked in video, will force the Warriors general manager, Bob Myers, and Jacob, Joe Lacob's ownership group to do anything drastic. And sources close to the team and Draymond Green are confident he and the team will be able to move past this and continue their partnership. And, you know, the last Kerr to fix this in the locker room, and he's one of the best coaches in the league when it comes to dealing with people. And Kerr's body language all but shouted skepticism when, you know, when Monte Poole asked Kerr if he felt you know, felt trust had been compromised, he briefly paused and uttered two heavy words with implication, no comment. And do you, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you guys think? draymond green is not jealous but salty like maybe clay thompson and draymond green i've said this before draymond green would be harder to replace than clay thompson and clay thompson would be you would be able to get more assets maybe for clay thompson than draymond green i don't know i want to hear your thoughts who would you get more assets i just think draymond green's values his best abilities on you know the warriors and there's very few teams that coaches that i think would be able to like, utilize green properly i think clay thompson could be a good player on any team so that's why i think clay might have better value and trade term trade value but do you think draymond green and it, they're suggesting that clay thompson are jealous of jordan pool because jordan pool has surpassed both clay thompson and draymond green in terms of value on the team and another player who people aren't mentioning but could be the second guy that has surpassed draymond green and clay thompson is andrew wiggins like maybe jordan Poole and andrew wiggins are more of a priority for the warriors than draymond green and clay thompson because they look at wiggins and they're like okay you can be the defensive guy that replaces iguodala and draymond green jordan Poole can replace clay thompson then we have Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody there. It's just all there for the taking, in my opinion. I think it's just kind of what they're they're trying to do. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this situation, if you guys are with me on it. Because I do think it's a, it's a rather strange one. And I don't know if this is a result of... Do you think it was jealousy? Am I being, you know, kind of overzealous is suggesting that it could be like something along those lines i don't know okay and that's where i want to like hear your thoughts like what do you guys think of this situation and do you think it's something that is are we overplaying i just see that 
next summer either Clay Thompson or you know Draymond Green isn't on this team. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just me being an asshole. But I just can't see them being on the team. It just seems like there's like, you know, maybe it's just a little bit too much to move past. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Am I am I wrong? Am I right? What would you guys want to see? And if there's anything else I could comment on, let me hear it. Bye.